In this lecture, we will discuss what is the importance and need of high load factor and diversity factor. And to understand this, we will first examine the two load curves which you can see on your screen. The first load curve is a daily load curve from 0 to 24 hours and I will call it load curve A. The second load curve is also a daily load curve from 0 to 24 hours and I will call it load curve B. In the first load curve, P max is the maximum power demand and if you see the load curve, you will find the maximum power demand P max is greater than the average power demand. On the other hand, in this case, the maximum power demand is same as the average power demand P max is same as the average power demand and the load factor the plant load factor is equal to average power over the maximum power and from here we can say that the plant load factor is less than unity the plant load factor is less than unity or we can say it is less than 100 percent on the other hand in the second case p max is equal to p average this implies this implies the plant load factor is equal to unity or we can say it is equal to 100 percent 100 percent and now we will derive few important conclusions based on the obtained results in the first load curve this is the base load this much of power demand is always there and we also have the peak load this is the peak load and this is the peak load duration this is the peak load duration so load curve A is having two types of loads the first one is base load and the second one is peak load and because of this to satisfy the load curve A we need two types of plants the base load plants and the peak load plants base load plants base load plants are operational throughout 24 hours and they are used to satisfy the base load and the peak load plants the peak load plants are not operational throughout the 24 hours but they are operational during the peak load period so during the peak load period both peak load plants and base load plants are operational now we will analyze the load curve b in load curve b there is no peak load there is only base load so only base load plants base load plants are required to satisfy the load curve B and if we compare load curve A with load curve B then we can say that satisfying load curve A is much difficult as compared to load curve B because in load curve A we need to operate the peak load plants along with the base load plants and now we will talk about the cost in case of load curve A, the cost will be high as compared to the load curve B because we need to install the peak load plants, we need to install the large dams and the installation cost is very large in that case and also there are other peak load plants which we use to satisfy the load curve A. So cost in case of A will be larger as compared to cost in case of B so if we have the load curve like B, it will be much easier to operate and also the cost will be lower. So we always try to convert, we always try to convert the load curve A to load curve B. I will explain what are the different methods used to convert the load curve A to load curve B but in the next presentation. And now we will relate the cost with the plant load factor. You can see the maximum power demand is reduced in case of load curve B and because of that the plant load factor reaches to unity. So if you decrease the maximum power demand the plant load factor will increase. If maximum power demand is reduced this implies the plant load factor increases and in the second case the cost is lower. This means on increasing plant load factor the cost decreases this is one important point and because of this reason we try to have the higher plant load factor and this is what we are discussing in this presentation what is the importance of high load factor and also the diversity factor we are done with the load factor and now we will discuss 
the diversity factor the diversity factor is simply the ratio of sum of individual maximum demands over the maximum power the diversity factor is equal to sum of individual maximum demands over the maximum power demand now let us assume a scenario in which all the facilities are operating at their maximum demands in that particular scenario in that particular scenario the diversity factor will be equal to unity and in normal cases the diversity factor is always greater than unity but when all the facilities are demanding the maximum power diversity factor will be 1 and in that case the sum of individual maximum demands will be same as the maximum power demand and to satisfy this we need to have the higher installed capacity and when you have the higher installed capacity when you require to install the power plants with the higher capacity the cost will increase the cost will increase so we don't want the diversity factor to be one we want to increase it and we can increase it by reducing the maximum power demand by reducing the maximum power demand we can increase the diversity factor and to reduce the maximum power demand we convert the load curve a to load curve b so when maximum power demand reduces the diversity factor increases and this will reduce the cost of installation so this is the reason why we need to have the higher diversity factor diversity factor equal to one is not a general scenario usually for domestic load diversity factor is always larger than one and we can make it further larger by reducing the maximum power demand so this is all for this lecture you now understand why we need to have the high load factor and the diversity factor I will explain what are the different ways to improve the load factor and the diversity factor in the next presentation. So this is all for this lecture. I will end it here. See you in the next one.